Hi, this is Shane. Welcome to Christian Labor. Please do like, subscribe, comment, uh, hit the donate button, or click on some of the ads. Hope you enjoy the show. Thanks. So I also wanted to talk briefly about, um, I had a, a long online discussion with a buddy of mine. Uh, you know, we're both Christian, we're both fairly moderate, I guess, economically. Um, we both care about charity. But what I was trying to get across to him is, you know, we, we back off of charity to the point to where people don't understand that Christianity is all about charity. How, how are Christians losing a battle of charity? And I just kept coming back at him and coming back at him and coming back at him and I couldn't get any sort of response that made any sense to me of why he and, and many of his friends, you know, and he writes, I mean, he's a professional writer writing on and on about things to do with, you know, getting past charity and getting past addiction to charity. And I'm like, we don't need to get past addiction to charity. We as Christians need to go <laughs> off into the stratosphere. There's absolutely no excuse for Christians to, to lose any competition of charity. And I, I've said this before, obviously, in my blog, and I was trying, and he was saying things along the line, well, if you know everything, then, you know, good luck. And I'm like, I never said I knew everything. I'm just trying to express frustration at why Christians are losing the battle of charity, because there's absolutely no reason. And if you look at the biblical models, and you even look in the early American history, when the pilgrims come over, they try a more or less socialist thing where everybody works together and then they share the outcome. The shared outcome doesn't work. The thing that works is shared access. Everybody gets a similar amount of land. You work your land and then um, you share, you know, you trade with each other. You know, when you're done working your land, you do whatever else you do and people cooperate. It's access that we need, not sharing of outcomes, but sharing of access. And this is the Christian way. There are other Christians going back at least a hundred years ago. I've bumped into this concept. Um, and no doubt far past that. And of course in the Bible. The Bible talks again about the year of Jubilee, about every seven years. Not seven years after you incur a debt, but every seven years. Chukunk, forgiveness of debt. Chukunk, every seven years. And no, um, no usury, no interest. Whereas we have an entire monetary system based on usury, based on usurious lending of fake money. Why, why, why would I pay usury on something that's fake? Um, these are all the things that we need to address as Christians that we don't. We don't even begin to pay attention to it. And then we turn around and we talk about, well, we need to get, you know, we need to get past this addiction to, uh, <laughs> to charity. <laughs> What a, we're not addicted to charity. We have no access to anything. Therefore, we are dependent. And our addiction is to um, food because we're not allowed to grow our own. We're not allowed to do anything. Intellectual property, again, central banking, uh, limited liability where you can't hold wealthy investors responsible for the things that they force us all to do. Um, and what is just, it's just fascinating about all this is that it is structured from the ground up to leave a handful of people in charge of everything and then they turn around and complain about their taxes. I, I can't wrap my mind around it. And, you know, so, okay, well, let's talk about abortion. Let's talk about gay marriage. Let's talk about people starving to death because you won't let them use the dirt. You know that everything comes from dirt, your computer, your little uh, TVs, your phones, this camera, me, you, the plants, it all comes out of the dirt. The only thing any of us really needs is access to the dirt and access to the information that we need to use it. And of course the information is locked up right now behind intellectual property laws. So um, I believe that's far more important than getting rid of our addiction to charity. Um, Christians should never get past their addiction to charity. Charity is the truest form of love. Um, thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves.
Once again, this is Shane with Christian Labor. Hope you enjoyed the show. Please do like, comment, subscribe, donate, or click on some ads. We could sure use the money. Appreciate you. Take care.